Hey everyone, it's Jake from Westcott, and today we're gonna go over the Sony Alpha 9.3 flash settings. All right, let's go ahead and go into our settings menu on the Sony Alpha 9.3. Let's start off in the exposure color menu. For a quick visual reference, the menu icon is pink. The first setting that we are going to set is our flash mode. There are a few different options here, but we want to ensure that it's set to fill flash mode. Next, we will go into wireless flash mode. Ensure that this is powered off. Even though we are firing the flash wirelessly with our FGX trigger, this setting is specifically used for OEM Sony flashes. Now, we will head down to red eye reduction. Let's ensure that this is also powered off. When powered on, it can sometimes cause misfires. We are now going to head to the sync terminal setting. By default, it will be set to auto. Let's just go ahead and change that to always. Setting this to always will help with flash misfires. Note, a warning will appear here informing you that the camera is now entering a flash effect duration shift and that your continuous shooting speed performance may become slower. That's fine. Go ahead and press OK. Now we will head into the flash timing setting. Ensure that this is turned on. We will dive into how to properly set this number here in a bit. The last setting we're going to change is the regular flash shooting setting. Ensure that it's set to 1 60th to 1 80,000th of a second and that is enabled. So let's show some examples of what happens when your flash timing setting is in and out of sync. For this demonstration, I'm going to set my camera at 1 20,000th of a second on our shutter speed at f2.8 and ISO 200. In the flash timing setting, let's start at 0 microseconds. You can see here when I take an image, it's completely black. No information is recorded. For the sake of timing, I'm going to jump up to 200 microseconds. When we take an image here, you can see that no information has been recorded. So, now let's jump up to 400 microseconds. Finally, we have an image. As you can see from this image, it's very blue and a little underexposed. So we don't quite have the microsecond dialed in just yet. So now we're going to jump by an additional 200. And now I'm at 600 microsecond. As you can see, our image is way better. The image is brighter and there's not as large of a color shift. So I know that I'm very close to having the microsecond dialed in. Now I'm going to change the microsecond to 640. This was pretty close to being spot on, but I'm extremely happy with the results. You can see here that the color is very good and we have a very bright, evenly lit flash here. Let's see what happens if you go past the optimal microsecond setting. Let's head up to 800 microsecond. You can see here that the image is becoming darker again and our colors are starting to shift. Now let's go to the max setting, which is 1000 microseconds. You can see here when we take the image, again, no information was recorded. We just have a black image. Now, here's the good news. I have taken the guesswork out of finding the optimal microsecond setting. I've created a quick FAQ page, which you can visit here. It contains all the settings that need to be changed on your Sony Alpha A93, along with a chart showing the optimal microsecond setting for specific flash outputs and shutter speeds, ensuring that you get the most compatibility with your FJ wireless system. All right, everyone, that's it for the Sony Alpha 9.3 flash sync settings. Again, make sure to reference the chart on our website to ensure you get the optimal output of your FJ wireless equipment. And as always, if you have any questions, Feel free to leave a comment below. Thanks for watching.